I really hate Mondays. I don't wanna work. My name is Mamoru Kasugai. I'm 26 years old. I'm just a humble office worker. I graduated from an ordinary university and got a job at a small advertising agency. I can't wait for the holidays. I want to play games. Playing games is much more fun than living a real life. There's no need to socialize. Good morning, Kasugai-san. Ah, oh, good morning. This lady is Haruka Ichijo. She's always gorgeous. She looks like she's from a prestigious family. But she's not arrogant or anything. Rather, she's very cheerful and friendly. She always greets me cheerfully. She's like an angel to me. Although we haven't talked much, I've always thought she's nice. Ichijo-san is really nice and kind, don't you think? Um, you think so? She's always smiling. That's not something anyone can do. I'm sure a lot of people love her smile. Honestly, I come to work just to see her. I wonder how happy I would be if she became my girlfriend. It'll be much better than talking to girls in a game. Maybe I'll even stop playing games altogether. She's always smiling and popular with everyone. She's the complete opposite of me. She probably has a boyfriend already. Even if she didn't, she wouldn't be interested in me. But one day, when I left office, I found her crying by herself in the heavy rain. Why is she crying? What's wrong? You're soaking wet. Oh, it's nothing. But if she stays here, she'll catch a cold. She was crying here all this time? And nobody talked to her until I came? I'm sorry. Oh, hey! It's nothing? No way! She's always cheerful. I can't believe she was crying like that. Wait, Ichijo-san! I'm sure something happened to you! It's okay. Nobody wants to talk to me anyway. What? But she's so popular with everyone. That can't be true. That sounds more like me than her. Um, if you don't mind, talk to me. I'll hear you out. Aw, Kasukai-san. <sighs> the assistant manager told me she doesn't need me anymore. It sounds like she's the root of all evil. I see. Let's go home together. We can talk on the way. Sure, thanks. Having issues with boss at work happens sometimes, but I had a feeling there was more to it than that. But she didn't tell me the details that day. We just talked about random stuff and went home. A week later, I was working overtime, and I happened to overhear three female colleagues talking about Ichijo-san. Did you hear? Haruka-san's having an affair with Director Harada. Yeah, I know. The assistant manager told me I'm sure it's true. But she looks so innocent. It's so shocking to know she's doing such a thing. She's having an affair with Chief Harada? No way. I mean, what's so good about Chief Harada? He's gross. <laughs> That's funny. He might have been cool when he was younger, but now he's old. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? At least you should have gone for a CEO of a huge company. Ugh, I'm so grossed out by this, so I stopped talking to her. Me too. Everyone's probably doing the same. No, no, no way. How could such an innocent girl be having an affair? But even the assistant manager is saying that? It must be because of her that everyone believes the rumor. I still don't know the truth, but I believe in Ichijo-san. Ever since then, I noticed that the atmosphere in the office changed. The biggest change was that Ichijo-san stopped smiling. When I observed carefully, I realized most of the female colleagues were ignoring her. It's so obvious they hate her. This is terrible. So everyone, please get on work. This is an important project. But Ichijo, you don't have to do anything. At one meeting, everyone was blatantly ignoring her. And I finally lost my patience. Why is everyone ignoring her? Everyone turned away from me. They didn't want to talk about it. Kasugai, sit down. But... Just sit. Uh, okay. This is Chief Harada. 
He's very competent at work. Apparently, he's still popular with some of the female colleagues, despite his age. Alright, let's end the meeting here. Thanks for your hard work. Kasugai, you stay behind for a bit. What? Um, okay. Oh, I wonder what he wants. It must be about what I did earlier, right? But I did nothing wrong. Have you heard the rumor? He must be referring to that. Yes, sir. Excuse me to say this, but I heard a ridiculous rumor that Ichijo-san and you are having an affair. <laughs> well, what do you think? I don't believe it, sir. I'm glad. And you're right, the rumor is not true. I mean, first of all, her father owns Ichijo Holdings. They are our biggest client. What? Whoa, Ichijo Holdings? That's a huge company. I see. I didn't know that. Even if I did like her, there is no way I would have an affair with such a person. That's gonna cause so much trouble. Anyway, you know, she's a really nice person, but she makes quite a lot of mistakes at work. So I was helping her a lot, but apparently, the assistant manager didn't like that. So she started spreading the rumor. I've heard that the assistant manager really wants to get promoted. Maybe she became worried that Ichijo-san might surpass her rank with the help of Chief Harada. And before I knew it, all the ladies believed the rumor, and I didn't know what to do about it. So, Kasugai, I need your help. We can't leave the things as they are. I understand, sir, and I believe in you. Thank you. I'm sure that once the misunderstanding is cleared up, things will be back to the way it used to be. He's right. We have to do something about it. For the company. And for Ichijo-san. Let's do this! Not long after that, Ichijo-san stopped coming to work. Could it be my fault? Did everyone start hating her even more because of what I said at the meeting? If that's the case, I really need to do something about it. Chief Harada, I would like to ask you a favor. Oh, what is it? I got Ichijo-san's phone number from him, and I decided to call her during break. Ka kasugai san how did you get my number? About that, I would like to talk to you about it, and about something else. Do you have time tonight? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. So we decided to meet after work. I told her that I spoke with Chief Harada. And I told her about the rumor. I also reassured her that I don't believe it. At first, she was just listening to me. But eventually, she started shedding tears. I've never had anything like this happen to me before, so I didn't know what to do. The people I thought were my friends started ignoring me. And I kept on thinking what I did wrong. It's not your fault. Nor is it anyone else's. I really thought so. Everyone's just misunderstanding things. So, let's clear up everyone's misunderstanding. I mean, I'd love to if I could, but how? We just need to make them believe that it's impossible for Chief Harada and you to have an affair. Okay... Oh, I know! We can tell them Chief Harada is actually a lady! Oh, hey... What do you want from me? <laughs> She's laughing! Finally! I really missed her smile. Oh, I really want her to keep smiling like this. I'll do anything I can. But seriously, I think that's a good idea. After laughing for a while, she suddenly said that in a serious tone. Um, to tell everyone that he's a lady? Not that part. I mean to make everyone believe that it's impossible for him and I to have had an affair. Do you have any idea? Yes. We can tell them you and I are going out. Huh? Um, well, that might work. But they'll be suspicious. I'm not good looking. They'll be like, why this guy? Really? I don't think so. Well, um, I'm also dumb and unfriendly. I've never been popular with ladies. But you're the complete opposite of me. You're pretty and smart, and even come from a prestigious family. I don't think one family has anything to do with love. 
Besides, it was only you who helped me when I was hurt. I prefer a kind person over someone good-looking or smart. I can't possibly love a person just for having money or social status. Aww, Ichijo-san. Well, she's right. When she was crying in the heavy rain, it wasn't any handsome guy or rich guy who talked to her. It was me. Okay, if that might clear up everyone's misunderstanding, let's give it a try. It's not like we're actually dating, so we're just gonna pretend to be lovers. But she said she prefers a kind guy over any other kind of guy. Maybe, just maybe, we might really be able to go out. I couldn't stop thinking about that possibility. Does anyone have anything to say? Oh, but Ichijo, you don't have to say anything. The next day, Ichijo-san came back to work, but everyone was still ignoring her. So I decided that this was the moment. Hey, guys, please listen to me. What's the matter all of a sudden? Chief, please let me speak. I want to clear up everyone's misunderstanding about Ichijo-san. Misunderstanding? About what? It's about a rumor that has been going around lately. A ridiculous rumor that Ichijo-san and you are having an affair. Me? And Ichijo? Having an affair? Yes, but I want everyone to know that it's impossible. Because... She's actually my girlfriend. What? How can I believe such a thing? Yeah, she must be having an affair. I'm sorry to say this, but you're no match with Ichijo-san. I can't believe this. Are you sure? Well, I will prove you wrong. From that moment on, everyone stopped ignoring her. And the assistant manager too. Apparently, she apologized to Ichijo-san. It turns out, she was in love with Chief Harada ever since he was single. But when he got married, she gave up on him. But she saw Ichijo-san and him talking in a very friendly manner. And she really thought they were having an affair. The sudden kiss wasn't part of the plan, but I'm glad we were able to prove Ichijo-san is innocent. They say a jealous woman is the scariest thing in the world. I guess that's true. I became determined never to do anything to make women jealous. By the way, you surprised me. That was really unexpected. What was? I mean, ki 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 kiss <laughs> Well, I just wanted to. What? Ow! <laughs> You're so clumsy! And we actually started going out! I'm so happy that I get to see her smile by my side all the time! I used to play dating simulation games all the time, but I don't need it anymore. Haruka told me she loves me for being kind. But I'm sure a lot of people still think I'm not a good match for her. So I'm gonna try hard to become a better man. I just want to do anything I can to make Haruka smile even more.